NASA just released fresh images of 3 i Atlas, and the sky does not look the way it is supposed to. A massive blood red cloud has bloomed in the dark, stretching for thousands of miles. At its core is an interstellar visitor that has just become far stranger than anything telescopes have tracked before. Observers expected a familiar comet silhouette, a white head, a tail streaming away from the sun. Instead, they found a crimson ghost blowing gas at a furious rate, with none of the signatures that define a normal comet. In one frame, there is even a glow ahead of the object toward the sun. That single detail is enough to keep people awake at night. This does not just add a puzzle piece, it overturns the table. Look closely at what the new images show. Forget the tidy textbook picture of a comet. There is no gentle tail. There is no bright head. There is a deep red coma, a giant cloud that hides a nucleus we can barely see. The color is not a casual tint. It is a vivid crimson few astronomers have ever seen on this scale. The measured size is staggering. The cloud spans something like 90,000 kilometers from side to side. You could fit more than 10 Earths inside that halo. Color draws the eye, but composition carries the shock. Spectrographic analysis gave the answer no one expected. The coma is made almost entirely of carbon dioxide. Not the familiar blend of water vapor, dust and mixed ices. Near pure CO2. It is being vented at a rate that sounds more like a factory than a comet on the order of dozens of kilograms every second. An object shedding that much gas should blaze in the sky with a long tail pushed back by the solar wind. 3i Atlas does not. There is no visible tail. It is like staring at a roaring fire that leaves no smoke. The physics we teach for comet says, sunlight warms eyes, ice turns to gas, and a coma and tail appear together. 3i Atlas is doing the first act with enthusiasm and skipping the second. Gas appears, then lingers in a red shroud. It is a magic trick without a magician, scaled up to the size of a planet. The nucleus is not what early estimates suggested. For a long time, faintness led people to assume it was small, a few miles across. New work using NASA's SPRX observations suggest otherwise. The best numbers put the nucleus at roughly 46 kilometers across. That is not a space pebble. It's a small world. A body that large, composed of frozen carbon dioxide and other volatile ices, should light up as it falls inward. Instead, it stays wrapped in its own fog. Too big, too red, and too weird to be called a simple comet. The picture we have is both hyperactive and mysteriously inert. It sheds enormous amounts of gas, yet refuses to grow a tail. It seems to expand without breaking into chaos. The biggest mystery may be how it holds together while venting so much mass. That is only the beginning. This object did not start out strange. It started out like a dream. Detected while still far beyond Saturn, it began to brighten. Models mapped a close swing around the sun and predicted a spectacle the naked eye might catch. People talked about comet of the century. Then behavior flipped. The steady climb stuttered. It flared without warning, then dimmed just as fast. The coma's color and shape changed. It felt like watching a performer switch act mid-stage without warning. Inconsistency is a red flag for specialists. It means the core may not survive the heat and gravity inside. Then came the apparent disintegration. Observers reported that the single point fractured into several pieces. The show was cancelled. That is where most audiences walked out. For a few researchers, the real story began there. The fragments did not drift away. They travelled in a tight ghostly procession, sprouting their own small comas. The early data around the breakup sat in closed rooms at first. That is normal. Big results get reviewed before they go public. This delay felt different to some. They asked what the first reading showed that needed such time. Were some numbers so out of place they were first assumed wrong? When the red coma image finally arrived with new analysis, it flipped the narrative. This had not been a normal comet that broke and faded. It had undergone a transformation that took time to understand. The promise of a neat spectacle gave way to a messier, more interesting tale. This was never a normal comet. It wore that mask until it did not. To understand why it feels so extreme, step back and look at where it came from. The path through our system is hyperbolic. This is not a body bound to the sun. Halley's comet and its kin travel ellipses and return. 
3i Atlas follows a one-way curve through and out. That makes it rare and valuable. A messenger from a different star system carrying chemistry from a place we may never visit. There are only two confirmed interstellar objects before this. Oumuamua, an elongated shard that tumbled and accelerated without a visible tail. Borisov, a comet that looked more familiar but still bent the rules. 3i Atlas sits apart from both. It has been travelling a very long time, maybe millions of years. Over those spans, the most volatile ices evaporate even in faint starlight. What should remain is a core of water, ice and rock. 3i Atlas flips that expectation. It is dominated by carbon dioxide and seems too perfectly preserved. It is as if it lay in a deep freeze for eons and woke up the moment it crossed our boundary. That image pulls theory in two directions. One says this is a fragment of a Pluto-like body, a piece from the ice mantle of a world shattered long ago. That would fit size and composition. Another says it's a different kind of comet, formed in a colder region rich in CO2. That helps, but it does not explain a missing tail or the scale of the core. The third idea sits on the fringe. Perhaps the nucleus is not solid. Perhaps it's porous, a sponge that moves gas through a network rather than venting from a few chaotic jets. Perhaps the breakup we saw was not weakness, but process. When conventional stories fail, the unconventional enters the room. The path through our system adds a new layer of discomfort. The trajectory runs almost perfectly along the plane of the planets. Visitors from outside usually dive in at odd angles. This one came in flat, intersecting the lanes of Mars and other inner worlds while avoiding Earth. It reaches closest to the Sun when Earth stands on the other side. That is either a root coincidence or a clever way to slip behind our brightest blind spot. Hiding behind the sun at perihelion would let an artificial object do whatever it needed without prying eyes. That is where energy is easiest to harvest, that is when smaller units could be released without notice. It is not proof of intent, it is a geometry that ingenious would appreciate. From the beginning to today, numbers kept stacking into a pattern that resists dismissals. First detected between late June dates, speed higher than expected for inner wanderers, orbit not matching familiar loops, simulations that point back toward interstellar space, perhaps even toward dense regions near the galactic core. That is not a leftover rock, that is something that crossed a threshold. The James Webb Space Telescope turned toward it, designed to stare at the edge of time and instead taking a long look at something close. Brightness did not match apparent size. That mismatch suggests a surface behaving like metal, highly reflective, cold, perhaps hollow. That is what the numbers say. A familiar voice stepped forward again. Avi Lobb urged the community to look for motion that cannot be explained by gravity alone. Tiny changes in path that do not fit out gassing. If those are present, this is not drift, this is navigation. If it is navigation, we are not watching a rock, we are watching a decision. What matters here is not whether the word alien belongs in this paragraph. What matters is that the field now has a sufficient portrait to test claims. It has surface texture mapped in infrared, active patches traced by thermal differences, jets tagged to their sources, the rotation revealed by brightness asymmetries. Atlas appears to tumble rather than roll. That fits a body scarred by ejection or long age. Reflectivity maps show a quilt of materials. Dark patches look loaded with carbon-rich compounds. Bright patches match water ice and silicate minerals. The mix says Atlas gathered in different places before it was thrown free. It is not one thing. It is the story of several places glued together and kept in a cold vault. The spectral data carries the most weight. Unusual organics sit in the light. They do not match a catalogue for local comets. That points to chemistry born under different radiation patterns and element mixes. Some signatures may be entirely new. They carry one message clearly. The building blocks for complex chemistry are not confined to a backyard. Atlas's hyperbolic path helps teams aim backward at a likely origin. Combine Webb's precise measurements with ground data and you can draw a line through space and time. Early fits point back to a star-forming region, a place heavy with dust and newborn stars. A giant planet could have slung Atlas outward. A passing star could have tugged the edges into chaos. 
the most interesting part is not the origin it's the fact that we can point and say a body traveled most of a galaxy to cross our night for a few weeks there's a second tone playing under the science the agencies that first pushed out trajectory data and light curves have pulled back in places pages that used to update daily went quiet requests for raw web data hit review walls requests under information laws returned reductions that does not mean a cover up it does mean that at a certain threshold discoveries enter other lanes physics has to share space with policy silence can be about coordination not conspiracy the pattern of tightening feeds uncertainty uncertainty breeds theories the only antidote is more data and careful tests there's a reason public fascination rides high on this one it's a mirror we are wired to tell stories about visitors dropping into our world we wanted answers instead we got a clear portrait and a list of things that do not line up with our current models that is not a failure it is what big science looks like when it works it reveals the edges the debate will continue in rooms we are not in there will be careful papers that pass ratios and rotation states there will be opinion pieces that push the possibility of artificial design there will be voices telling the field to hold the line until the numbers say yes In the middle of that there'll be people like you staring at an image of a real interstellar traveler on a screen and feeling something old and simple. Oh. This is where we are. An object from another star system glows crimson without a tail. It vents carbon dioxide like a machine. It carries unusual organics. It follows a path that lies flat along our lanes and hides behind our star when we are most curious. It might be a preserved relic. It might be a porous sponge. It might be a piece of an exoplanet's ice mantle. It might be something built. The one true thing is that it passes quickly. We will not see it again. Tell me what you think 3I Atlas really is. Does the crimson coma without a tail feel like exotic chemistry, a structural quirk, or something engineered? Does the size and path make you lean one way? Share your thoughts in the comments. If this deep dive kept you watching like the video send it to someone who loves the night sky and subscribe with notifications on the next image the next spectrum the next visitor could arrive any day and i'll be here to walk you through it